Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, what, what we are doing here, uh, this is uh, the first uh, green roof that it is 100% uh, um, installed with nature-based materials. So the first, the first thing we have is this board, this cork board. So this, this is the waste of the, the cork industry for the, the stoppers of the wine. And so we, we make this board to, to make thermal isolation of the building. But also, as you see in these cuttings, we, we, we can uh, achieve a very good amount of, of drainage, so liters per square meter hour, with this board. So this is what is under these, these substructs. Then we have uh, four different pots, the different areas, with uh, four different mixtures of uh, substructs. And the idea is to avoid to have... Uh, um, uh, materials that must travel very f from far, uh, very far distances and uh, also uh, materials that are industrial based. So what we have here is uh, different mixes of substrate that are completely from uh, waste of different industries. And uh, obviously that we have this one that is the indust industrial one to compare the performance of the, of the plants. Uh, green roofs right now uh, are really mainstream in most of, of the cities in the world because of uh, different ecosystem services that they can provide to a city. So green roofs um, can uh, capture some pollution and produce oxygen, can uh, contribute can make a very good contribution for the flooding events because they can harvest a lot of rainwater and release slowly. They can be areas of food production inside the cities and we, we cannot forget that uh, the, 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 the food travels many kilometers. In, in the United States, the average uh, is uh, 2,600 kilometers until reach the consumer. Um, green roofs promote biodiversity. Green roofs are a very good element for the thermal isolation of the building, so they can really reduce the amount of energy that you need to, to have a comfortable temperature inside the building. So you have different uh, services that uh, really put the green roof in a top level of, of the of the alternatives that we must use in construction to have more resilient cities. So usually you have uh, in, in uh, the, more, the, the modern systems use what we call multi-layer systems. So you have different layers of materials to achieve um, different kind of performance. Usually you have, uh, in Portugal we use a lot inverted green, uh, inverted roofs. What is an inverted roof? It is a roof that has the thermal isolation over the waterproofing. And usually what we do is use the XPS, uh, it's a blue board uh, made with synthetic materials. And so this is the first thing that we can avoid, is using this natural board instead of the, of the synthetic board. Um, other thing that we need is to protect the waterproofing because you need some mechanical protection. And usually you can put a, a mat that has a kind of a good strength to avoid the, the, the perforation of, the, of the, the damage of the, the waterproofing. And this board also acts like a, a, a mechanical protection board. After that, usually we use um, a drainage element that is like a, a it's a, a plastic, a plastic material, and uh, usually uh, these materials are uh, with different type of, of drainage channels, different aids, and so what we avoid with this board is also that plastic, uh, that plastic board. And then we have a filter. Here we still have a filter, and then the the, the technical substructs, not the soil. Because if you use the soil, the small particles of the soil, the, the, the silt and the clay, can uh, be washed away over, the, over the, the filter and then they can clog the filter. 
and we need to avoid that because we need to have the, the same amount of load even if it is raining uh, a lot. Uh, here we, we are using a mix of, of plants. What, uh, because this is a test, uh, we use different uh, family of plants. Um, some of them we know that, that they are very tough on, on an extensive green roof in, in our Portuguese conditions. And uh, so we are using mainly the, a group of plants that, that, uh, that we know for sure that perform well. So this is not a test for plants, this is a test for substructs. So we need to use what we think uh, really uh, works very well. The process was a long process, so what, what is a substract? We, it's, it's, we, when we produce a substract, we, we, we try to compare the, the needs that the plants have when they are growing, when the, when the root is growing. And what the, the roots need is a, a stable environmental in water, ingredients and air. So that's why in the soil you have an organic part and you have a mineral part because both of them contribute for this stability and also for these ingredients that the plants need to survive. So what we did is to compare and make a very good characterization of the, the, the um, organic ingredients that we have in our industrial substract and also the mineral ingredients and try to find in the different industry some kind of materials that compar comparable could perform the same way. And so after doing this first step and after identifying different uh, type of, of uh, um, ways of, of industry, uh, we start doing the mix, the different mixes and doing some experiments and in small pots. And after uh, have the, 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 that, that experience uh, as, uh, with, with some of these plants. Uh, we, we really noticed that the plants were, were developing very well. And so this is the, the, the next step. It's make a more, uh, a bigger uh, test. And at the end, we will have for sure the, the result and the, the, the best composition uh, for the performance of the plants. What we try to do, this will be substructs for extensive green roofs, not for intensive green roofs. So the idea uh, of the extensive green roofs, it's uh, green roofs that will have uh, um, uh, a performance to promote biodiversity and not for the people to use. If you, if you want to use a, a, a extensive green roof, you need to make some kind of platform or walkways and not to walk over the plants because they are there to promote biodiversity and they will not handle that kind of, of uh, hard aggression and frequent aggression as a grass can. 100%. 100%. 100%. Like waste of strength. Yes. Oh, the mineral part and the, and the organic part. Only this one is one ingredient that is uh, industrial made. These two are 100% and this one is has just one ingredient that is industrial made. Um, I'm, I'm very curious to, 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 to make measures every month to see really the development of the plants. Uh, obviously that we are quite sure that the industrial one, the, the plants will have a much uh, more spectacular development in, in the beginning also because this one has uh, some fertilizers slow release fertilizers that we add in the composition and these 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 ones doesn't have any kind of help uh, but at the end um, in the process of the adaptation of a plant is a medium and long term run it's not a 100 meters run and uh, sometimes if you have a very spectacular performance in the beginning of a plant uh, it's it's a bad sign so the, the the good sign is when you have really a slow but a good development of of the plant this is the best uh, performance for a plant and let's see what we will have here uh, i think this is a, a a giant step in the in the in the really in the nature based solutions industry in the in the green roof industry because this this will put the, the green roof in another level 
I truly believe that construction has the responsibility to, to contribute for uh, some crises that we are facing that are uh, really dangerous for our species in the world. First of all, it's the, the, the water scarcity that we will have and we, we already have in Portugal. And so if we can use green roofs, we will uh, capture a lot of water and we will evapotranspirate a lot of uh, water during the day, making contribution for the natural cycling of, of the water. And, uh, and also, I think uh, uh, the construction in the future will be mandatory to incorporate some percentage of waste material because we have a, 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 crisis of, a waste crisis also in our cities, in our world. So if we also can add these services for a green roof, this will be something really new. And if we achieve this, we will have one more layer of services that the green roof can give for, for a city and for our society. So I think this can be a turning point in, in, in the history of the green roofs, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, could you say